Today, Kevin and I have some Vieira goodies. These are cookies. They're made in Portugal. Uh, we have the white chocolate, the milk chocolate. And the dark. Uh, we found all of these at Jungle Gems International Market. The milk chocolate were, uh, they were all different prices. They were. It was the, fun to find them on the receipt. <laughs> the milk chocolate was $239. White chocolate was $229. Dark chocolate was $219. We don't know why. We're just going to go with it. So, uh, these are a biscuit coated with white chocolate. They look like little donuts. It is three cookies. It's 150 calories. And I'm just going to use scissors to snip off the end. Why fight it? Why fight it? We're not going to fight it. Oh, they're cute. They look like little donuts or something. That's what I said. Oh, is that what you said? Yeah. They're know. very heavy, though. I wasn't listening to you. Do you want to eat half of it or no? A hard cookie. It looks like the color of it is kind of like a gingerbread color in the center. No bad mm -mm. It's good. It's sweet. It's not overly sweet. It's sweet. Um, the biscuit, I don't know if it's a chocolate. It in tastes there like graham cracker to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's I was trying to identify cracker. that flavor and it's like, I can't yeah. think of what that is. So I said it's the color of gingerbread. It's graham cracker. That's yeah. why. Inside. It's a graham cracker uh, formed into like a donut. Yeah, it does and remind you of a graham cracker quite a bit. Yeah. And, a little denser uh, texture, but, but it's still. And it's nice and sweet. Yeah. I can yeah. see where kids or adults or anybody would like that. I would, I would eat those. Go ahead. And so this is the milk chocolate. Take one little break. Oh, this one's a lighter cookie. This looks like the inside of a fudge stripe. Don't have a keyboard. Yeah, three cookies is 150. They are. Also, it reminds me of a flavor of a keyboard a little bit. That's what it tastes like. That tastes like a fudge stripe cookie. Mm -hmm. Not bad. It's not quite as sweet as a fudge stripe, but it's it or does it's pretty close. I actually am surprised that fudge stripes have never made like a giant size <clears throat> because they could do this with this mm -hmm. with theirs. I actually really like the texture. I like how thick it is. More crunchy. It, yes, there's there's more to bite into. Yeah. Because fudge stripes, think about it, they're thin. They're mm -hmm. very, very thin cookies. They could absolutely uh, double up and make theirs that big too and have like a special edition. Yeah. But the, those are nice. Those are nice. They're, like I said, I don't think they're as sweet as the Keebler's or fudge stripe ones, but, but I think they're good. This is the dark. Looks like the same inside. I don't mind the dark. I think it has less flavor and it does leave your mouth, oh, uh, it, it does have a drying effect. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is a traditional dark chocolate. It is, and it's funny how th those three cookies taste completely different. Right? Yes, they do. But you know what? I'll, Complete honesty, when I bought them at Jungle Gems, I didn't have really high hopes for the quality of them. Because they look like they'd be a cheap cookie. They do. And they might not be a cheap cookie in Portugal at all, although they must be because we didn't pay much for them. Mm -hmm. But they're really good. Mm -hmm. They're good. I think they're nice. I personally wouldn't pick the dark chocolate just because I don't want to eat a bitter cookie. I wouldn't either, and it does dry your mouth uh -huh. out. But, but either one of the other ones are really good. Yes, they're sweet. I think they'd hit the spot. Mm -hmm. I think they'd be good for kids or adults. Um, yeah, I, I, I genuinely like these cookies. They're yep. nice and sweet. So if you see them, um, you'll have to try them. They're called goodies. Or if you have tried them, you'll have to let us know what you thought of them. And thanks for watching.